Hello world, my name is Ihor, and this is another techno recipe. And today we're going to focus on some sound design and create three different bass lines for techno using analog synthesizer. So the first one, which is called square bass, and together with drums is going to sound like this. The second one is long gate bass line, and it's going to sound like this. And the third one is acid bass line, and I think this one is a little bit mini-log specific because of the characteristics of its filter, and it's gonna sound like this. Yeah, and I'm using the Minilog XD because it's quite straightforward and easy to demonstrate synthesizer and it sounds good, but I would like you to really focus not on the gear but rather on the techniques because these techniques can be easily applied to any other analog or digital synthesizer or VST. So yeah, without further ado, let's jump into the first one, square bass. And we start with initial program on the Minilog, which sounds like this. It's a simple sawtooth wave generated by analog oscillator. We're gonna switch it into the square wave. Go one octave down here and switch the keyboard to one octave down as well. So we got this bassy sound. And then we can use the amp envelope. Uh, I'm gonna leave attack super sharp, decay at maximum, sustain at maximum, and then a little bit of release so that our sound it's kind of plucky and then decays. And then we can use the low pass filter to filter the high frequencies and a little bit of resonance and drive. And now we can use the envelope generator to modulate the filter cutoff frequency with an envelope. So I'm gonna, again, super sharp attack and a little bit of decay so that it kinda, it's gonna be a plucky sound and we introduce some intensity. Yeah, something like this. And I think we are ready to program the sequence. Let's do something like this. And we can start. Sounds really good. Yes, and now we can introduce some reverb. I'm gonna go into the submarine one and a yeah, long time, but a little depth so that it's gonna generate some kind of like a background texture, not too much. Then into modulation, flanger, slow, time should be slow. I would like it to evolve, you know, and change the sound over time. And then not too much depth, not to destroy the bass sound. And then we can go into delay and introduce the BPM mono at rate of one eighth and that's pretty much it let's listen to it with with drums intensity nice and then the filter cut off of course nice another thing which we can do here is to go into motion mode and press record and then record the pulse width modulation, the shape knob. So it's basically whenever we start moving this knob, it's gonna start recording it into the sequencer, like this. Nice, and it stops. It gives a little bit of variation. Then we can play. 
play with envelope decay on filter cutoff. Make it sharper. Yeah. And now I would like to use another trick. So we're gonna go into the second oscillator, bring it one octave down as well and leave it on sawtooth wave and then introduce instead of the square wave, the sawtooth wave. So we're gonna mix it in. And somewhere in the middle, I'm gonna mix out the square wave. like this. And I think that's pretty much it for this sound. And we can go into another one. And I'd like to start uh, with uh, the second oscillator only so far. And we're gonna switch it into the triangle wave, go one octave down, one octave down on the keyboard as well. And then I would like to switch into the chord mode and set mini log to be mono because it's a polyphonic synthesizer. But for this bass line, I would like it to be in mono. So simple triangle wave, we can add overdrive. And we can also change the shape of it. Nice. So, and now I would like to program the sequence, but before doing that, I would like to go into the sequence edit mode, into the page three or something like that, and then go into step resolution and change it from 16th note into the eighth note which essentially give us two bars of sequence, not just one bar, but all the notes will be one eighth, which is fine. Also, before going any further, I'm gonna reduce the amount of steps to eight, so that, so basically I would like this bass line to sound only on first bar, and then second bar is gonna be silent, and then again, but to be able to program it or to work on it a little bit more efficient, I'm basically removing the second bar right now and using only the first one. But then when we finish with the sound, we can introduce the whole sequence with these empty steps at the end. So I'm gonna go into record mode and on the first note we hold G and then press rest three more times. And then we can skip up until the end. So we have quite long gate, like half a bar gate for this bass line. And it's gonna sound like this. just to relate it to the kick drum. Maybe just for, for the last one, uh, we can go into the record mode again and make gate to 100% so that it finishes exactly at the end of the bar, which is cool. Yes. Nice. And now I would like to go and, you know, bring some harmonics out of this uh, triangle wave by modulating some things and uh, changing the shape. So shape and overdrive already bring some interesting results. But here we can use delay creatively. So I'm going to go into the delay and select the doubling. So it's this one shortest time and almost maximum depth. On the maximum, it creates this kind of tail. Might be something good, but I don't want this tail. I just want it to be like a little wobbling or yeah, something like this. Then we can introduce just a tiny touch of release. 
And now we can use filter and filter envelope. So I'm gonna go and use the low pass filter to filter out all the frequencies, like high frequencies, introduce a lot of resonance. And then we can also introduce some slow attack and then quite fast decay to this envelope and introduce some intensity to it. And now I would like to go into the modulation. Ensemble is fine. We can make it slow and not too deep. And then into reverb, there is this one space. Again, we can make it long and just tiny touch of depth so that we have this kind of background texture going. Yeah. Nice. But we can also modulate this sound a little bit more with, with the first oscillator. So we can cr do the cross modulation. So I'm gonna switch this one into the sawtooth wave and then use this cross modulation depth. So basically the first VCO is gonna modulate pitch of the second VCO. Yes. Yeah, maybe like this. Then we can play a little bit with attack and decay. And then from the third digital oscillator, we can go and introduce, for example, sawtooth wave. Just a little bit. And another thing which we can do, we can record motion of this shape, for example. So I'm gonna go into motion mode, press record. Yeah, like this. And then for performance situation, we can use filter cutoff again, envelope amount of, of the filter and the resonance, and then change the shapes of different oscillators. This one. Let's go back into the sequence right now and bring all the steps back and play together with some kind of rumble and, and stuff like that. So let's do it. To the motion mode for example and we can set these guys to have attack on the filter envelope quite fast so we can go into the motion mode and hold this one and make it like 
super fast. And then the second trigger is over here, same thing. But then we bring the whole thing back. Let's listen to this one. So for, for this one, we have slow attack. And for these two, I think that's pretty much it for this baseline, and let's switch to the next one. The last one is Acid Baseline. This one might be a little bit more kind of mean log specific because of its filter characteristic, but it's super straightforward and super simple to do. So let's start with uh, Basic Patch again. Let's uh, we we keep the sawtooth wave, but we go one octave down. We can use G for example, and I would like to program the sequence real fast all the same notes to the entire sequence. And then we can remove a couple of notes, for example, you know, just to create some kind of rhythm. Let's uh, listen to it. Nice. Then we can change a few pitches over here. And then it goes quite straightforward. You filter the high frequencies with low pass filter, bring this resonance quite a lot, drive, then portamento or like the pitch swipes, and then we introduce the filter envelope which is going to be quite sharp as well. Here we can use again the doubling delay. Like this. Some plate reverb. Not too much, just to glue things together. And flanger. I love flanger, especially on the AC bass line. And then we can play with shape a little bit and switch to mono, just to be safe. Maybe just a little bit of shape. trick similar that we did on the first one but instead of going from square wave into the triangle we're gonna do the opposite so I'm introducing the second oscillator with square wave and let's mix it in a little bit and then we fade out the sawtooth in that case in resonance and the envelope are quite touchy because they can go pretty nuts like this maybe a little bit of release and let's also introduce the triangle LFO to modulate filter frequency as well Let's go back into the sawtooth wave. Maybe a little bit more reverb. A little bit of overdubbing. 
little bit of noise. gonna be it for this baseline. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Make sure to like it and subscribe to my channel. That's gonna help my channel grow and it's gonna push my videos to more audience. I really appreciate all of you here. And until the next time, have fun.